Hello friends, welcome back to channel. Today is 13th of February 2022 and in this video we are going to see the important current affairs from 13th of February 2022. Our first question is which of the following state government which of the following state government cabinet has recently approved the prevention of unlawful conversions bill 2022? Answer is option number one, Haryana. Recently, the Haryana cabinet has approved the draft of the Haryana Prevention of Unlawful Conversions of Religion Bill 2022 aimed at prohibiting religious conversions affected through misrepresentation, force, undue influence, coercion, allurement or by any fraudulent means or by marriage or by marriage by making it an offence. The draft approved in the cabinet meeting chaired by the Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar will now be tabled in the Vidhan Sabha during the budget session beginning on March 2nd. So answer will be option number 1 Haryana. Haryana, look at map. This is Haryana. Its capital is Chandigarh. Governor is Satyajit Narayan Arya. CM is Manohar Lal Khattar. Its legislature has 90 members. 10 members are elected to Lok Sabha and 5 members are elected to Raj Sabha from Haryana. It borders with Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Punjab and Delhi. Next, what is India's rank in the World Democracy Index 2021 which has been recently released by the Economic Intelligence Unit? Answer is option number 1, 46th. Recently, the Economist Intelligence Unit has released the World Democracy Index 2021 and India has ranked at 46th in this 2021 Democracy Index. Also remember that Norway ranked at first number in this index in 2021. New Zealand is at the second number and Finland is at the third number. So answer will be option number one. India ranks at 46th number. Next, which of the following day is celebrated as World Radio Day? Answer is option number three, 13th February. Proclaimed in 2011 by the Member State of the UNESCO and adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in 2012 as an international day, World Radio Day is celebrated on February 13th every year. It is celebrated to preserve the timeless medium and create awareness of the importance of radio. So, answer will be option number 3, 13th February. Next, which of the following day is celebrated as National Productivity Day in India? Answer is option number 2, 12th February. Every year in India, 12th February is celebrated as National Productivity Day. It is celebrated by the National Productivity Council to highlight what more could be done to increase efficiency in India's productivity and to create a more inclusive and sustainable model of socio-economic development. So, answer will be option number 2, 12th February. Next, who is the author of the book titled India-Africa Relations Changing Horizon? Answer is option number 4. Raju Bhatia. Raju Bhatia is the author of the book titled India-Africa Relations Changing Horizon. So, answer will be option number 4. Raju Bhatia. And this book provides a detailed exploration of the India-Africa partnership in all its critical dimensions. So, answer will be option number 4. Next, India's first commercial scale biomass based hydrogen plant will be built in which of the following state answer is option number 3 madhya pradesh india's first commercial scale biomass based hydrogen plant will be come up at khandwa district of madhya pradesh every day this plant will provide 1 ton of hydrogen from 30 tons of biomass feedstock this plant or the plant is being put up by a joint venture of omato Energies Limited and Biogel Green Energy with an investment of rupees 24 crores. So answer will be option number three, Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh. Look at map. This is Madhya Pradesh. Its capital is Bhopal. Governor is Mangubai C Patel. CM is Chivra C H Chawan. Its legislature has 230 members. 29 members are elected to Lok Sabha and 11 members are elected to Rajya Sabha from Madhya Pradesh. It ranks second in area and fifth in population. It borders with UP, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Rajasthan and Ganga, Godavari, Galti, Narmada, Mahi are the main rivers of Madhya Pradesh. Next, to boost the domestic industry, Indian government has recently banned import of Dash. Answer is option number one, drone. In order to promote domestic industry, the Indian government has recently banned the import of drones with immediate effect. The move comes over a week after Union budget proposed the drone Shakti scheme to facilitate application and use of drones as service in the country. However, the import of drones for research and development, defense and security purposes would be allowed but with due clearance. So, answer will be option number one, drone. Next, 
popular wrestler the great khali has recently joined which of the following political party answer is option number 1 bjp look at much this is khali or the great khali and his original name is dilip singh rana and recently he has joined bharatiya janata party at the headquarters in delhi he joined the party in the presence of rajya sabha mp arun singh and lok sabha mp sumit daggal so answer will be option number 1 bjp next french virologist lac montagnier has recently died at the age of 89 he was awarded with nobel prize in physiology or medicine for his discovery of human immunodeficiency virus that is hiv in dash and series option number 1 2008 look at the image this was luc montagnier he was a french virologist and he was awarded with nobel prize in physiology or medicine for his discovery of hiv virus in 2008 and he recently has died at the age of 89 so answer will be option number 1 2008 then question is who among the following has been recently appointed as the new director of ncert and series option number 4 dinesh prasad sankalani n c e r t long form is national council of education research and training and it is an autonomous organization of the government of india which was established in 1961 as literary scientific and charitable society under the societies registration act its headquarters is located in new delhi and recently dr dinesh prasad sankalani has been appointed as the new director of this n c e r t in february 2022 so answer will be option number 4 Dinesh Prasad Sankalani now we will quickly revise the questions of our last video our first question was which of the following day is celebrated as international day of women and girl in science and series option number 3 11th february which of the following day is celebrated as national deworming day in india annually and series option number 2 10th february who among the following has been recently appointed as the executive chairman of tata sons and series option number 2 n chandrashekharan name the actor who has recently died at the age of 74 and was popularly known for his role of beam in tv serial mahabharat and series option number 2 pravin kumar sobti who among the following has been recently start has recently started operation aha to curb human trafficking and series option number 4 indian railways dr m ganga dharan has recently died he was a dash he was an famous historian of india next question was who among the following has been recently appointed as the chairman of staff selection commission that is yes yes c and series option number 1 yes kishor and last question was who is the author of the book titled atal bihari vajpayee answer is option 1 sagarika ghosh these were the questions asked in our last video now today's question question is which of the following day has been recently celebrated as safe internet day options are 2nd february 3rd february 4th february and 5th february if you know answer of this question you can write it in the comment section below or we will discuss the question in the next video also you can get pdf of this video in our telegram channel link is given in the description box below